everyone, this is Mrs D. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Now, if you watched my one of my last videos, it was that I had opened up my Etsy store. So for this video today, I wanted to take you through the process of making a design using Canva. Now Canva is such an incredible tool and honestly, I have used it more than I ever thought I could use anything basically. I'm using it for my YouTube videos, I do my thumbnails on it, I have been creating shorts on it on my other channel. I am also using it in my Etsy stores to create my listing pictures, I use it to make pins on Pinterest. So honestly it has been so incredible to use. But my most recent way of using it is by using it to design for my products in Etsy. So what I'm going to do today is take through my process of designing on Etsy so that I can use it in my print on demand shop. So I'm going to be creating something that I think has wide appeal today, but something that I want to put onto multiple products because at the moment I only have seven listings. Now, if you're in a similar boat, this kind of hack can really help you out. So this jumper here that you can see up on the screen right now has made over 10,000 pounds. And when you take away all the printify costs, that's around 7,000 pound profit. So this is the kind of style and jumper that I am looking to make, but obviously it's always really important that we do not copy we can kind of tweak the ideas, make the design your own and kind of go from there. So the tool that I've used to validate this product is a tool called Everbee and there is a link down below to that. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay everyone, so I am all logged into Canva. As I say, if you haven't used Canva before, there is a link down below which will give you a 30 day free trial. And honestly, I think if you're kind of going into designing things, whether it be thumbnails, and you can do it for free. However, I do think that their, their pro selection is far better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just come down here and go create blank on t-shirt. And then just here, create blank. And then when that uploads, what I have kind of decided is I wanna go with a positive message, something that I think will sell in the new year. You know, we're all very concerned about environmental yet also concerned about ourselves our well-being and how we can kind of improve that so an idea that i've kind of up in my mind is some like something of like a picture of a bee and then it says yourself be yourself if you didn't get that <laughs> um so that's kind of what i'm going for so I want to try and find, I want to keep it quite simple, but something that will be quite catchy and can be transferred onto multiple different products. So t-shirts, jumpers, I could sell it as a print, I could sell it as a digital download if I wanted to, I could put it on, you know, tea towels, oven gloves, aprons, tote bags, everything, you know, it is just endless. So here we go. So I'm gonna come over here and just go to elements and then just type in here bees. And I'm looking for something not too cartoony, something that looks really beautiful. So that is really lovely just there, but I think maybe not that. Kind of something a bit more illustrative that's really nice. I'm just going to pop that over and see if I can do something with that in a minute. That's really lovely, but not what I'm after. 
And as you can see, you know, it comes up with so many different ideas, so many different options for you. And I've, I guess I've kind of got it in my mind. I'm just going to add this one to my page. I also really like this. And this is just me kind of getting a few ideas. And then I can play about with it in a minute. Upload it. That's really lovely. I don't think actually the colours on that one are punchy enough. So I'm going to take that one out. So just coming down. And what you need to remember is that you can actually kind of edit these pictures quite well so you can take out various elements of it and you know really adapt it to what you want that's beautiful like that it's kind of at the wrong angle i would say for what i'm after but that's more like what i'm after I think that's definitely the style and aesthetic that I would like there, that one. Okay, so I'm gonna take that one out. That's really lovely. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. That is exactly what I'm after. So I really like that. I really like this heart and I'm not sure if I can use that maybe somewhere and I really like this also. Oh, this one here is really, that one there might be a bit more free flowing. And what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to go through and find my font. I am going to have a look and see what we can find. I'm looking for something almost a bit be like if that makes any sense whatsoever so maybe something a bit dotted or let me just see if I type in there dots here we go since a wild dot line let me try that mm. wild dot field make it bigger so I can see that's quite good let me just put my writing in there so it want, I want it to say yourself you can see you know this is I'm not kind of going groundbreaking on design I want to keep something that is beautiful that is saleable and I just I think it has I just think it has a good message so I am going to come back to this I think I'm going to come back to this one just here oh let's move that down there we go now that can go back up if I just extend that one out copy that and then again I'm going to flip it let's see if I can get oh there we go see that's better And honestly, I am so happy with that. If that was a t-shirt, if that was a mug, if that was anything, I would buy that. This is, so what I think it's really important is that when we're creating, that we are creating for an actual person. Like who would buy that? Everything that I am doing on this channel, I am creating things that I would buy, I would like. And I think that's that's really the important thing and the really important message. Now, let's just have a look. So say for example, if this was to be up in, I don't know, like your kitchen or something like that. Now, if I put in there, like some color behind, see, you can see that as, as in a kitchen. 
as a poster. Blue, pink is beautiful, this aqua colour. It kind of goes, doesn't go so well with that. I was just about to say, it kind of goes with everything, <laughs> apart from that one. You know, and I, I think that's lovely. What I am just going to do, though, is just kind of crop that slightly so that I'm not getting the double dot just going on. There we go. And that's so much better because now I just haven't got the double dots. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. Now, what is really key is that if you are downloading this and you want to upload it onto t-shirts and mugs and all those sorts of things, when you hit download, you need to download it with a transparent background. And this is so that when you put it on your t-shirt, nine times out of 10, let me just change that background back to white, you don't really, say for example, if this was a t-shirt and I left the orange square there and then plonk that straight on, that would look a bit strange. Whereas if I put this onto an orange t-shirt and the rest of that is transparent, it would look great. Okay, so I'm gonna hit share, download, transparent background and download. And that is it, we've got it. So let's just open that up so we can see. And yeah, it looks looks lovely. Really happy with that. So now you are ready to upload that onto your various products. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you've enjoyed that video. This is part of the series, so make sure your notifications are turned on so that you do not miss a beat. I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much. Bye.